Teresa's room. So this afternoon I'm going with some of my friends to a cafe. We might even be going shopping afterwards and I have to start getting ready. I was thinking I might do a simple makeup look and then I thought, why don't I show you guys my everyday makeup routine? It's definitely updated since the last time I showed you guys my routine and I really like it because it's quite simple. There's a couple of steps involved, but it's a really good base, you know, if I wanna add more stuff to it, you know, if I'm going somewhere more fancy. But yeah, I really like to wear this makeup look if I'm just going out with friends, just shopping, just doing casual things. Uh, so let me show you. Okay, so I've just come back from cleansing my face. It's always very important that you start with a very clean base. So now I'm just going to do a very tiny, tiny bit of skincare. I'm just starting off with um, some moisturizer. This one is from Eco by Sonia Driver. Um, I think I've probably showed this many times before, but I really like this moisturizer. It's very hydrating. Okay, so now that the moisturizer is all on, um, last bit of skin prep is I'm just going to put a little bit of this uh, SPF 50 sunscreen on from Ultraviolet. I've only recently learned that you should be using sunscreen like almost every day. It helps like, you know, keep your skin looking young and stuff and apparently there's always UV rays and stuff so you should be using it. Alright, so now it's time to start getting into some makeup. Uh, well, sorry, this is kind of a bit of skin prep as well. Now I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, it's also very important to use a primer as well to get a nice base to put the makeup on top of and I really like this primer. I've only just recently started using it and I think it's pretty good. Okay, now for some actual makeup. Um, I like to use a tinted moisturizer. I mean, if I was going for more of like a glam look, I'd probably do like more of a full coverage, coverage foundation. But um, if it's just natural, I'll probably just use uh, some tinted moisturizer. This one's from Rare Beauty and I really like this one too. I also like to blend this out with my hands. Like it was kind of a makeup tip I just recently learnt like for foundation and stuff. It's like good to like pat it in with your hands. It kind of gives it more of like a natural finish and I feel like it definitely works. And then I'll probably just take like a beauty sponge and like just finish blending that out to make sure it's definitely all blended. Now that that's all good and blended, I like to go on some concealer. Um, I usually mix two shades. I use this one from Tarte, the Shape Tape, and then also this Kosas concealer as well. The Kosas one is a little bit more closer to my skin tone and the Tarte one's a bit lighter. And I like to mix the two just so I can brighten with the Tarte one, but then sort of like conceal like spots with the darker one. Honestly, sometimes I'll just use concealer. Like if I'm in a bit of a rush and I just want a really quick makeup look, concealer usually just does the job. But you know, since I've got a bit more time for you guys, I'll show you the full thing. <laughs> So now I'm going to be using some cream bronzer. This one is from Rare Beauty. I have definitely, I don't know, I feel like they're definitely a lot more popular at the moment, but cream based products I feel like are really popular at the moment and I really like using them. I feel like they give you more of like a natural look. So that's why I started using this. Okay, now that I've just added the bronzer to sort of like sculpt my face a little bit, give it a bit more of like a tanned look, uh, then I like to go in some cream blush. This one's also from Rare Beauty. Absolutely love Rare Beauty, definitely recommend. Um, this is the uh, blush in the shade Happy, a very pretty pink shade. And I just like to put a little bit on my hand because this is a very pigmented blush. A little goes a long way. So I sort of just like tap it onto my hand, just get a little bit on my sponge and then just put it on my cheek. Okay, so that's pretty much all for like the wet products. Now I like to go in with some pressed powder. This one here is from Charlotte Tilbury, the airbrush flawless finish one in the shade 
medium. Um, and I like to use a press powder. I don't know, I feel like sometimes it makes it look a bit smoother, but usually I'll probably use like a loose powder from like Laura Mercier. But it's always important to set your face, I think, because it just helps like your makeup from like not creasing and stuff during the day. Okay, just wiping away some of the excess powder with a um, brush. But that's all for the powder. Now I sort of like to just go with a bit of setting mist because I like to put highlighter on top next and sometimes a bit of setting mist can sort of help like make the highlighter pop a bit more. Okay, so for highlighter, I've been using this for a little while. It's from Jaclyn Hill. It's the highlighter palette um, and it's just got these like beautiful shades in there and I like to use this one, Gleam. And I sort of take a bit more of a fluffier brush to do this, just to sort of diffuse the glow a bit more. And you just put it like on your cheekbones. And I think it looks really cute. It's very shiny, makes it look very glowy. I don't know if it shows up so well on camera, but this definitely looks pretty shiny. So now I'm gonna do some mascara. Actually, no, I'm gonna do my eyebrow gel first. I just got my eyebrows done recently, so pretty happy with them but usually I'll just do some eyebrow gel just to sort of slick them down this eyebrow gel is just from Anastasia Beverly Hills but I honestly think you can even just use like gel or something like that I've seen some people even use like soap to like slick their eyebrows so you don't have to get an eyebrow gel to do that okay now for mascara, um, firstly, I always curl my lashes. It just makes your mascara look so much better, trust me. So I'm gonna start by curling them. All right, so this is a bit of an extra step, but I still like to do it. Um, when I was in America, I wanted to get the Lash Paradise uh, mascara and I bought this and then I got home and I realized that it was actually a, a lash base. So it's like a primer, it's like this. Um, and I started using it and I feel like it actually works like it helps make the mascara look a lot more bolder and stuff So if I'm in a rush, I won't do this step, but I really want to do it today So I just started with a little bit of eyelash primer Okay, now that the lash primer is basically dry, I like to use my mascara I use the one from Maybelline the falsies lash lift. I've been using this one for a little while and it's definitely my favorite um, So I just like to put obviously some mascara over the primer and I don't know I just feel like it makes them look a lot longer I feel like my lashes have been a little bit longer lately I don't know if it's because I'm using this um lash serum from the ordinary like maybe it's helped them grow a little bit but I feel like I really like their length at the moment okay now that my lashes look a little bit like some scary spider legs they're a bit clumpy at the moment I just like to take a plain spoolie and once it's sort of dried a bit more I sort of just brush it through just to sort of separate the lashes a little bit and give a bit more of a natural look. Okay, final steps. Um, just for my lips, I like to combine, the, I've been combining these two products for a very long time. Firstly, I go in with a bit of this Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Verbena, I think they you say it. It's just like this very light, like pinkish red kind of shade. And I very lightly just sort of tap that on my lips very very light and then sort of blend that out a little bit just to sort of tint my lips a little bit give it a bit more of a pinky look and then I go in with this Clarins um, lip oil uh, Clarins lip oils are so good uh, I just feel like they make your lips look very shiny if that's the kind of look you're going for and I just put this on top and then finally to finish off I just go in with a little bit more setting spray. This one's from Rare Beauty. Um, and this just makes sure that your makeup is all set in place so it doesn't move during the day. And there you have it. That's my everyday makeup routine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there were a few steps involved, but you can always pair it back. And I usually do that depending on how much time I have. But I feel like it looks pretty natural and you know I always end up changing my routine depending on new products and tips that I find but hopefully you found this helpful and maybe get a bit of inspiration from it don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now!